Yeah, how's it going everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. I am only the world's greatest living artist. Humbly. I am humbly <laughs> the world's greatest living artist. Coming to you here from the art studio with another one of my awesome art sessions. Live sessions. It's alive! How's it going, D. Toms? Good to see you. Good to see you here. Come join us. I hope you have a... You have a, you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful night now. Well, night if you're in the U.S. Um, or in certain parts of America. Here we go. Um, here we go. Let's do this. So today I'm going to be doing a figurative painting because some people have asked me. They're like, dude, stop it with the little trees. I want a figurative painting now. And I'm like, I humbly accept the challenge. I will do a figurative painting. Because I can. Pop, 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 pop. Let's do this. <laughs> How's it going, Jolly? Uh, Helges and Fred. How's it going? Muchachos. Muchachas. Everyone. Here we go. Whoa, let's see what this thing measures. This thing measures about 14 roughly. It's kind of crooked, you can see, by 36. And some masonite. Muy macho. There's my signature right there. I just happened to do that before because then I forget. <laughs> How's it going, Texas? Yeah. Everything's there in Texas. Love that. Very cool. Let's do this. So, let's do a little angel, okay? Because angels are in right now, at least in my book. And here we go. It's going to be an, an awesome figurative piece with some wings attached. Okay, let's do an angel. Um, should we have the angel praying or not? No, let's not have him praying because... Because what if this angel is just like this? You know what? Let's make this angel a female angel. Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, please be cool, okay? Because this is art. I'm not trying to offend anybody or anything. Please understand of the arts. Yeah. Let's make the angel slightly looking. Be cool with me, guys. Because here we go. All right. This is just very simple figurative work. I'm sure that many of you guys know. Short hair, long hair. Let's do... Yeah, we'll figure that right now. And... Super awesome. Man, I love the, the woman figure. Female figures. It's, uh, it's the closest thing we have of the gods here on Earth. I think that the gods were like, how can we let the human being know that we exist? And they're like, let's make a woman. Let's make the mother of all beauties a woman. That's, that's what I say, right? <laughs> I don't know, someone else might say something different. Let's make this wings go up. All right. Anyways, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to get a bit of pink, a bit of uh, yellow, and you can play with the skin tone, right? Of course. Different.
skin tones in the world. All beautiful, of course. And voila. Now, why did I do that? Because I was ready to go to the next level. And that wasn't it for me right there. So sometimes, sometimes what I do is that in order to not get stuck, I just keep going as opposed to try to, to uh, rework something. Many times uh, as artists, uh, especially when you're starting out, if something is not flying your way, many times what we do is that we'll stay there and stay there and stay there. And that approach does not, I don't, I don't value that approach. Right? Something ain't working out, like if you're like, oh man, oh, or like right here. Dude, boom, 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 move to the stomach now. Because, because in this deal, movement will be much more rewarded than staying in one area. Now, if you're doing hyper-realism or whatever, of course, I'm sure that you're probably not going to do that. There's different tricks for that. There's different um, things that keep you going, right? But if you're doing this type of deal that I do, dude, the, the less you sit there and think about it, the better it will be. go see all the genesis quads now one of the deals that I like to do again is when when I'm keeping the movement going I try to not really think about much and I know this is an interesting subject because I talked about it extensively in other videos but I try to not think about it much as uh, what's his name uh, what's the name of that cat? The the the, the one from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> was it, was, I think it was uh, Donatello or yeah, one of those one of those guys, one of those artists from the uh, Renaissance. I think it was Donatello, the one who said. Uh, one does not think when one paints. He's not the only one, but he's one of the one of the ones who started saying that early on. Uh, another guy who said that, of course, is Manet. Uh, uh, Degas. Degas also mentioned that. He's like only when one does not think, one is doing. When one does not know what he or she is doing, is when we start doing good things. And I think that they were spot on. I just think that. They were very spot on with that. Because thinking does not help the process. Thinking kills the process, especially if you're doing this type of deal, right? This, uh, what do you call it? Uh, expressionist type of painting. The, the, the more you sit there and look at it and not paint when you're painting, the harder time you will have. So it's about squeezing time out of the equation. I know it sounds weird, but it really is about that. And there you have it. That's my secret. <laughs> but it really is about that. I know a lot of people are like, what is your secret, dude? Squeeze time out of the situation. The more time... Now this doesn't just this doesn't just apply to painting. I've been learning a lot from from uh, like art career and whatnot from 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 cats that are not artists. I've been learning a lot from from uh, sales experts and high perform what they call high performance dudes, right? People that are like captains of industry and whatnot. I like to learn a lot of my deals from these guys because. These guys seem to understand something that a lot of people uh, in the arts don't understand. And that is how to get things done. A lot of us in the art 
thing in the art uh, communities. We know how to we know how to think. We're very creative, right? But many of us lack lack in the department of okay. Well, enough with the thinking. It's about time to get shit done, right? And many of us don't have that. And these cats have that. So I pay attention to that. And isn't it weird? An artist learning from like entrepreneurs, not necessarily how to like be an entrepreneur, of course. Yeah, those things help. But how to be a better artist. Another, another people that I pay attention to a lot is uh, not just business coaches, but uh, athlete coaches. You'd be surprised the stuff you learn from those guys, you know. Because the more I paint, the more I realize that these athletes have a lot in common. We have a lot in common with athletes. A lot in common with athletes, you know. Our, our show or no show also has to do with our mental attitude. It has to do with how much we practice. It has to do with, with the kind of BS that we're running in our minds. You know? Oh la la, beautiful angel. Muy bonita, preciosa. This is a muse. I I bow to the muse. <laughs> That's how it is, guys. That's how it is. As an artist, one, one, uh, the, the cost of entry, okay, the price is to be a little bit, just a little bit local. <laughs> that's just the, that's just the cost of entry. You have to be a little bit off the rocker. If you're not, you might have a hard time being an artist. <laughs> it out and of course I will be posting this on my eBay store where is uh, where I sell all of my original works all of, all of the works that are original that's my pitch right there I have to throw my pitch because I mean, come on guys that's what I do I just paint and I throw a pitch. <laughs> then who's going to buy my next uh, oil sets? Someone's got to pay for my next oil sets. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I like how people are like, man, he's talking about selling his work. I'm not going to listen to him anymore. Don't be hating. Don't be hating on a hustle. <laughs> Check it out. This is an angel. You ever seen something painted? Not just this beautiful, but this quick. I bet you haven't. Because you're watching the world's greatest living artist. It's not something you see every day. It is not for the faint of heart. Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it, no? That's the same. Look at that. Let's put a bit of sky, maybe, I don't know. It reminds me of El Greco, a little bit. A bit Grecoix, Grecoisk, or Grecoish. 
And that, that Greco cat knew how to paint. I took my hat to El Greco. If I was wearing a hat. Since I'm not, I could take my brush. <laughs> yeah, if you guys, if you guys had, a, have a, had a chance to... Uh, I haven't, but I hear, okay? I hear Toledo, it's like magical. My wife was talking to me about it. She went to study abroad and she was in Toledo and saw the, the works of El Greco. Domenico Stilkopoulos, I believe it's his actual name. He was a Greek man, a Greek artist living in Spain. Toledo, I think, yeah. That's where the works are at, so I suppose. And people were like, El Greco, right? Because that's what we do as uh, Spanish-speaking folks. We're like, I can't pronounce your name, so I'm just going to call you El Greco. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Give me some hearts if you're loving what you're seeing. If you're not, if you don't love what you're seeing, and you haven't seen nothing yet. Give me some hearts. I love those hearts. I thrive. Ooh la la! Check that out. What the, look, look what the back of a brush can do. Look. Experience. Experience it. <laughs> Have you ever heard of think I'm, I'm drunk here? Like this. Let's go check out the drunk artist. No, guys. I'm out of coffee. I'm out of caffeine. I'm out of coffee. So I'm kind of like, dude, I need my coffee. I tell my wife, I need someone to work in the studio just as a coffee runner. They need to come and get coffee, bring coffee, and that's all they're going to do. They're going to get some interns to get some coffee. It's like, oh, awesome, I can work in the studio. Nope, you're the coffee person. That's your, you have a, the ultimate job in the studio is to be a coffee person. You will be the coffee maestro. You will go across the... That's downtown, <laughs> downtown Tucson. Hey, <laughs> I'm in Arizona. <laughs> you will go the, uh, across downtown Tucson to find me that coffee, that delicious coffee. And that's all your job. Yeah, I had some people working for me not long ago here in the studio too, and, and uh, I was like, job number one. You see what they call me the world's great? Why they, meaning, wink, wink, myself, called me the, the world's greatest living artist. This is why, guys. If you're going to be the world's greatest living artist, might as well be the world's greatest living artist. Don't just be a, an okay artist. Be the world's greatest living artist. Anyone can be a good artist. The hell with that. I'm the world's greatest living artist. I'm not a good artist. I'm not a great artist. I'm not a fantastic artist. I don't like that. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Which you damn. Okay, now let's make her glow even more because her beauty is to be a little bit glowy. Just a little bit. Let's make her glow even more. Right? And those lips have to glow a little bit more. Man, I love my job. You know those days that you wake up and you're like, I can't wait to go to work? Hell, that's me every day! <laughs> Thank you all the peeps that buy my artwork. I really appreciate it. You guys are, I mean, of course, I couldn't do it without you. You know, I'd be probably crying doing something else. I'd be like, oh my God, I can't do that. I'm an artist. Why am I working here? But because of you guys, my patrons, my, uh, what do they call it? Yeah, patrons, art collectors, good friends of the artist, Jose Trujillo. It's because of you guys that I'm able to be muy loco in the studio. I mean, you guys make it happen. I just show up and paint. You guys really are the ones who make it happen. So thank you. Appreciate that. Forever grateful. 
I mean it too. Look at that. Look at that. This is how a master artist works. Master. <laughs> Guys, whatever you do, whatever level of work you do, you are. Claim. Claim who you are. Even, even if it doesn't look that way yet. Who gives a fly? Claim who you are. Claim your seat. My wife uh, introduced me to the book, The Seat of the Throne. If you haven't read it, go check it out. Claim your seat. Claim your place. Don't let uh, people that don't believe in you, don't let the people in your mind that is really most likely like no one really cares about us. Everybody's too too excited caring about their own mysteries of life. <laughs> we just think that other people care, but really they're like confused about their own life. They're like, man, what do I do in my life? Don't let people claim for you. Don't let people claim, man, you're not good enough. They're making a claim for you. No. You show up and claim. Claim yourself. I'm going to make her even more astonishing. And my signature is maturing too. I can't believe it. I feel so awesome. Right there. Thank you so much. At the bottom right here, it says, uh, it says, world's greatest living artist. Yeah. The crowd goes wild. Ah. Check it out, guys. Beautiful, beautiful angel. It's, uh, it's in uh, between heaven and earth. I don't know. Reminding us of the beauty of life, the good in all of us. I mean, it's really just a higher state, no? A higher state of being. I think that's what uh, angels really are. They're a higher state of being. Look at that face, man. Does it look like I've been, I've been, I've been studying? Does it look like I've been studying? What's, what's this cat's name? Goya, Francisco Goya, look at that brushwork. It's like, it's like, I'm gonna make a face. Whatcha pa 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 There it is. Guys, if you guys like the quick loose brush, you gotta study those guys. You gotta study those masters. You know, because if you don't, you'll get lost in the man, you gotta look make it look realistic. Man, I don't need to make it look realistic. Realis realism is just a byproduct of painting. I'm not aiming for realism, I'm aiming for life. For life. Look at that beauty. Hello, my sweet angel. Yeah. I've outdone myself. I love when I do this. I could just cry a little bit. A little happiness, a little tear of happiness is coming out of my eyes. Because I believe that I've outdone myself again. World's greatest living artist, guys. Jose Trujillo. Check it out. Check me out. Uh, click on my link profile. My, on my profile, there's a link right there to my eBay store. Where, yes, I am pretty much the only artist who's like not playing around. <laughs> and showing you all of my work. Not just the way I create it. But uh, you'll see some, uh, some awesome auctions starting at just 99 cents. This type of work. Like, you know. Like stuff that you would put in a gallery and you would collect dust because you put it there for like seven grand and it'll collect dust forever. I'm letting them go. Why I'm local that way? I want you to have it. I want people to have it. I mean, what, you know, we, we should all go get some real art. Some original art. Don't settle for prints. 
Everybody's like trying, like all artists are like, man, I'm gonna make a painting and sell a thousand prints. Dude, I'm the other way around. I'll make a thousand paintings and maybe I'll make a print for me to keep, to remember <laughs> that I made those paintings. There you guys go. Thank you so much. Check it out. Go check out my YouTube. Subscribe, share, link, uh, link another, I don't know, I mean, tag a friend. Tell them what we're doing here. We're doing some magic stuff. Magical. Let me, let me pan into that beautiful face. Look at that. Look at that. Francisco Goya would be so proud of me. Here is my Maha as an angel. Bam. That's how it's done. Yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Till next time.